And this is frightening. What this means is that there is no official policy that deals with the allocation of foreign exchange to businesses and individuals. Nothing that guides the central bank on how to determine how much and whom to give hundreds of millions of foreign exchange distributed every year. Or approach West MP Devendranath Tanku speaking during the opposition's media conference on Sunday as he displayed what he identified as the finance ministry's response to a letter from the attorney of the owner and founder of Ramsaram Dairy Products on the distribution of foreign exchange in Trinidad and Tobago. It's already extremely troubling. What makes it even worse? It's a massive level of foreign borrowing that this government has been engaged in so that they can continue to feed their favorite friends. Literally borrowing billions of US dollars on the international market with no way of paying it back, simply to facilitate the foreign exchange cabal. This is the PNM government that shut down Petrotrin, a large net foreign exchange owner, so that they could offer the country the mirage of drag and gas. However, this was MP Tanku's response to a question during the opposition's media conference on Sunday about one newspaper editorial's suggestion on how to deal with the Forex issue. I think that floating the exchange rate requires some conditionalities which does not exist in Trinidad and Tobago now. And as a result of that, uh, it is inappropriate. I think it is wrong at this point in time to even consider going that way. In fact, if you focus on what I have said during my contribution this morning, the problem may not just be the lack of will, the lack of new uh, revenue sources. The opposition MP said it may not just be a problem in terms of the supply of foreign exchange. The problem is in terms of transparency. Maybe if there's a transparent, fair and equitable distribution of the existing foreign reserves that the country has and earns, we will not have a situation of the crisis that we currently do. On Sunday, Finance Minister Colm Imbert posted a statement on X in which he said, quote, The Guardian recommended that we float the TT dollar, that is, devalue the TT dollar, as a solution to the demand for U.S. dollars. However, this helps no one except those hoarding U.S. dollars to make a quick profit. It will not generate any extra U.S. dollars for businesses and will just cause hardship and pain, end quote. Jewel Brown, TV6 News.